not least, I'd like to invite Dick Morgan to come up here and tell me a little bit about the bike you built for Mr. Ryan Farquhar, who will be riding your superbike, which is actually... That's akin to is it radically bike. different to something you'd use in BSB? Um, not hugely, no. I mean, there's enough electronics-wise, it's just got kit ECU and stuff like that, as opposed to any magnetic Murray stuff. It's um, it's basically what Simon used last year, so we know it works. I think okay. it's a good thing. It's up to he's got to get it working on the roads. Anything to kind of you know any, make anything more robust? Do you have to do anything like the subframes? Or yeah, we like take that? a lot of the titanium stuff off, and we have a lot of the stuff braced like subframes and things, and right. like, especially around the tank because mm -hmm. you know, they don't take a lot of, a lot of abuse really. So okay. um, and everything's made a lot stronger and steel bolts instead of titanium. So it's just it's just a lot more hardy, you know. Okay. The bike's outside now. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're, we're going to take it up to Scarborough this weekend, but it just it hasn't fallen right with Simon getting injured last week at Valencia, and then um, obviously with Thruxton being so close, it just didn't fall right. So who's going to ride Simon's bike at Thruxton? Uh, Howie. Howie's going to have a go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully he'll be right. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he will. Be. Nick, thank you very much indeed. That's great news. Thank you very much indeed. Ah, Ollie Linsdale. Okay. <laughs> How long did it take you to get from Flitwick to here? I've been at Mallory. You've been at Mallory, okay. Testing? Yep. What bike have you been testing? Simple. Ollie Linsdow, um, who will be riding, uh, well, you'll be riding lots of classes out at the TT, but we're all talking about the Moto 2 bike that you'll be riding out there. Did you watch the race at the weekend? I did. Pretty okay. good start. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks Second very good. Place, so. um, and clearly those bikes are fairly underpowered in this way that they're about 125 brake horsepower. The engine in your bike out there, there'll be no restrictions, of course. They won't be no. supplied by Honda. What do you think they'll be putting out? Uh, it should be... Super sport spec, you know, so it should be up close to 140 horsepower. So um, I think it's going to be quick, make you tune. So it'll be, okay. you know, nice. Knows how to build a TT engine. So uh, and and who knows? I mean, it's up against a lot faster bikes, but it should be very nimble. It should stop well. It's got all the bits and pieces on it. it uh, I think it'd be quite a competitive package. I think so. Yeah. I mean, we've seen throttle position um, data and super bikes on full throttle for about less than 15% of the lap and a 600 sort of 60% so okay. um, that just shows how often you put into 100 horsepower on the ground. Right, okay. Um, would you do the same two stops again, that sort of thing? Yeah, it will, it will still be two stops. Um, there's no way we can get around any more than that. So, okay, um, right. Yeah, I, I just think it's going to be certain sections of the course, you know, um, Balacrane through Glen Helen, etc., etc., that is really going to excel. Okay. So. Um, what other classes are you riding? Well, all the others. All, all the, the others, yeah. On Which, Yamahas? Yeah, all Yamahas. Um, got a brand new super bike, year old super stock bike, and a brand new super sport bike, so uh, we should have a pretty competitive package. Okay. And you've been on the super bike today, Mallory? Been on the super bike first. Yeah, first last round, Mallory. They are fast, yeah. yeah. I don't like Mallory at all. Normal, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well done. Ollie Lindsay, thank, thank you very much indeed. A star of the future. But I think that just about wraps proceedings up, but Jimmy from. Uh, Monster Energy is here. He's down there with his hands up, wearing uh, that jumper. No, it's a lovely jumper <laughs> from Christmas, I'm sure. Uh, he's down there. And don't forget, of course, uh, there are driving experiences taking place. And if you go out the back there, see Becky and sign up uh, if you want to go around being driven around the circuit in a Porsche. Uh, I'm taking one or two out. Um, no, I'm not really. Someone did say I could be a coach, but I'd have to take my teeth out and put seats in my mouth. But other than that, I don't think I could. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Great to see everyone here today. Let's hope it's... Can I, can I just add as well, we would like to get all the riders outside with a monster truck, please. So before we all disperse. And also there's dinner for everyone tonight. I'm not quite sure who's staying around, but at 7 o'clock there's dinner upstairs for everyone. And as Steve said, if anyone does want to go on a, a chauffeur Porsche ride, do see Becky... Uh, in the corner who will wave. Uh, some people have already made requests, but I'm sure there may be others. Uh, but thank you very much for coming. See? Thank you very much indeed. Great to see everyone, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the CT. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Well, John, just over a month to go now before the big event. <laughs> yeah, it's getting exciting, isn't it? You know, really looking forward to it. I mean, you know, great bikes, great team, great people behind me. Uh, just Pray for a bit of nice weather and some good close safe racing. It should be should be a great spectacle. And very exciting, Monster Energy now involved in the TT, which is brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. I had a little, uh, last year we, I was involved with Monster last year and, uh, you know, hopefully they like what they see and I'm sure they did like what they see because they're involved with a, with a three year deal with them. So and, uh, I'm, in, I'm involved with them again for, for 2010, so brilliant. 15 wins, lap records, a fair target on your back. <laughs> that we probably don't want to talk about it, but we've got to. Yeah, I mean, God, I get asked that question so many times, and I haven't got a, I haven't got an answer for it. You know, I just I'm prepared as well as I've ever been. Uh, I still feel pretty sharp, and I'm 38 years old tomorrow, so I'm, I'm knocking on the door. So, 
but I still feel pretty good, bikes are great and uh, I just go about it like I do every other year, which is go as fast as I can and see what happens in the race. But there's plenty of other young kids come in and uh, plenty of newcomers and you know the TT uh, is real strong at the moment, so long may it continue. But it's also very much about experience, isn't it? Yeah, I've been going 15 years and I've ridden everything from one two fives to single cylinders to super bikes to production bikes. I've ridden everything around there and you know, and every time I go I thoroughly enjoy it. You know, there's nothing like sticking your helmet on, shutting your visor and going down Glen Crutchley Road, you know, the most famous strip of tarmac in the world as far as I can say, you know, 104 years old this year, so you know, mega important to me and uh, Looking forward to it. And you might have an old mate coming out to watch you this year from the F1? Yeah, I've been involved with Mark Webber a little bit the last couple of years. And, you know, Mark came out to the TT in 2008 with his father and uh, he came to the garage to see us. I popped him on the bike and showed him all the controls. And he's a real, you know, he's a petrol head and a biker at heart. And he's always wanted to go to the TT. And it blew him away, you know. He went, he went, he went down Bray Hill and, you know, somebody took him to the famous Bray Hill and said, here, stick your head out of the, the garden wall there. And we came past 185 miles an hour. and. You know, it really took his breath away and uh, he's a big TT fan and he's going to be coming back again this year, hopefully, and uh, to see us at it again. But you've kept a place on the man for peace for another winning <laughs> trophy. Yeah, I'd love to win and again, you know, it's uh, everyone's a bonus, everyone feels great, you know, for various different reasons. But, you know, I mean, like I say, I've won 15 and when I first went to the TT in 82, I think you might be riding then, Steve, but... Uh, you know, I watch all the old boys, Mick Grant, Joey Dunlop, uh, Ron Aslam, all them guys, and it just blew me away when I was 10 years old. And I said to myself, I'm going to win one of these one day, and I've won 15, you know, so it's uh, it's, it's 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 real good. And I'm, you know, I feel pretty good. I'm riding pretty good at short circuit level. You know, I finished third in the Superstock Championship, one of the hardest championships there is out there. So we're still, still going all right for an old codger, so I'm looking forward to it. Good luck. Have a good one. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Keith, I'm well aware the TT is a big event for you, as always, and are you prepared? Um, I'm a lot more prepared now than I was uh, this time yesterday. Yeah, I um, finally got some, some things sorted out and the kind of pieces have fell into place. So, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy. I've got a Honda 600 and uh, two BMWs for the big classes, so real happy. got the, the people I want around about me. And, yeah, I mean, the TT is the biggest event of the year for me. It's, it's the one that everything kind of revolves around and it's, it's the one that matters the most the one I want to win so hopefully we've uh, made the right choices this year and we got a little bit of luck and we'll see what happens. 44 days to go apparently when do you get excited about it? I get excited about it as soon as the old one finishes I mean it's <laughs> it's just it's hard to describe the TT's something really special I mean I've only been going for three years now but it's just you know it's it's everything that my whole season revolves around. I mean, it's the one that I want to win the most. It's the one I want to compete in the most. It's, it is just the biggest thing, you know. Have you set yourself any targets? Yeah, I need to do a bit of winning, eh? <laughs> yeah, everybody says it takes three years. I mean, we got two podiums last year, um, and I'm pretty sure if we get a bit of luck and keep the head down, we might, we might climb a couple of steps. Keep your fingers crossed. Thank you. Well, Gary, preparation's already underway for the TT. Uh, you had a bit of a whoopsie early on, but fitting well now? Yeah, yeah, not 100% yet, but the TT's not, what, another six weeks away. So I've got a lot of things to get on with there. I'm going to be training hard. I'm going to whoop the training now I can get on with it. So, uh, you know, the races are an hour and three quarters. Are they just a, well, I'm hoping to do it in under that. So I should hopefully be fit and uh, be top of the top step, hopefully. You're part of the younger generation coming through now, still learning off, uh, I guess, the more experienced riders, but getting faster and faster. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I set off number one last year, and that one because obviously I was the quickest. It was the, the number I chose, and everyone didn't want it. So I got to follow John McGuinness, and uh, I got five laps in total behind him. So I'm hoping that's uh, led me for a good year this year. And uh, much new, much changes in machinery. Yeah, yeah. Moved on to Suzuki this year, which is exciting. Uh, the Suzuki's are a quick bike, super stock style. Uh, you know, in the super bike trim, it's excellent. I rode it for the first time at Macau. Brought the lap record uh, on a fairly stock machine, so we know the bike's careful. It's uh, just me putting the laps together at the TT. Well, we look forward to it. It'd be nice to be on that top spot, wouldn't it? Well, that's what we're all wanting, but uh, I'm wanting it more than all. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, yeah.